What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. There have been so many reports about Kang and Doctor Doom and Marvel Studios switching directions in the last week or so. I've had a hard time keeping up with them all and in fact some of my videos have just ended up morphing because I can't keep up with the news cycle and fast enough. Now, hopefully this afternoon I'll have my final video coming out on what the final version of Secret Wars is going to look like over at Marvel Studios. I think a lot has changed. But in the meantime, we have to talk about this scoop that broke yesterday from an unlikely source, not someone who's very ubiquitous in the scoop game, and something for now we're going to leave strictly in the rumor mill category. It came out with a piece of news that was extremely interesting, and if true, means that Marvel Studios can't recast Kang even if they want to. And this on the heels of yesterday's report and coming from trusted industry insider Daniel Rickman that a recast would be more likely than them going away from the villain, that they remain committed to the Kang storyline. Well, if today's news is true, not only are they going to remain committed to the Kang storyline, but they'll also be remaining committed to Jonathan Majors. We're going to break down this latest scoop and what it said about an exclusivity clause that apparently Jonathan Majors had inserted into his Kang contract. And while there may be many variants of Loki that look very different across the multiverse, including an alligator, same for Spider-Man. When it comes to Kang, they're all going to look like one man in Jonathan Majors. We're breaking it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews, to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is right around the corner next month for What If Finale, and then one in January. Again, all you gotta do is be a sub, leave a comment if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so as I mentioned moments ago in the prologue, we're going to treat this like a rumor, or rather treat it like something anonymously posted to 4chan, where occasionally these are true, but a lot of times they aren't. This rumor started over on the Weekly Planet podcast, where they have a segment called Hot Scoop or Shot of Poop. They let anonymous sources, again just like 4chan, tip them off as to what's going on, usually in MCU projects, and if it ends up becoming true, then it was a hot scoop. If not, a shot of poop, and this was the full quote. While working on the movie Devotion, I was friends with one of Jonathan Major's people. During our filming, Jonathan Major's closed the Kang deal. I remember asking the friend about it and they shared some details, X number of movies, X number of dollars, etc. And more interestingly, due to the nature of the character and potential multiple versions, Jonathan Major's had a contract clause stating that only he could play any and all versions of Kang. This would likely explain the rumors of swapping out Kang with Doom as opposed to recasting. Now before I break down why logically this makes sense, if you've been watching the channel here for the last week or so, two days ago we broke down the latest industry update from Daniel Rickman, one of our most trusted industry insider sources that we report on, talking about Marvel Studios would rather recast than go away from the Kang storyline, and this was in the face of all the news that they would be switching to Doom. He even went as far to say if Doom does show up, he will not be the main villain in Secret Wars. Now we're hearing something completely different, except from an anonymous source, that he has a contract clause that says he can't be recast. Now if you think logically about the role of Kang, he would have known going in and from day one that he would be playing multiple versions of himself. And because the role was including multiple versions, that's what would prompt an actor like him, if he's going to sign on for this major role, to include a clause like that. And in fact, when you think about it from that point of view, knowing that this role from day one called for multiple versions, infinite versions rather, across the multiverse, you wouldn't want your work investing in the character as he who remains and Kang the Conqueror during Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, just for them to bait and switch and put another actor into that role, just calling it a variant. It basically was a role that was dubious in that purpose from day one. One, and so that's what would prompt an actor like Jonathan Majors to ask for that clause. I do not find that hard to believe. But one caveat I'll put on all of this is that they've waited patiently for the trial that is about to start, and I believe at the end of this week or next week. And really, the fallout from that trial is what's going to lead to, I think, ultimately Marvel Studios and Disney's decision. If Daniel Rickman is correct and a lot of the reporting is correct, and he ends up being exonerated or rather found not guilty during that trial, I'm really surprised it wasn't dismissed, to be honest, from the beginning, because all of this evidence that has come out really makes it look like he is for sure going to be found not guilty, when and if that happens, this is all a moot point anyway. But, should something come out during the trial, something get even more compounded or complicated, or he be found guilty, 
In that case, I think it would leave Marvel Studios no choice. And of course, I know there will be some of you who automatically say, yeah, well, isn't him committing a crime or being found guilty? Wouldn't that null the contract? Not necessarily, and really, we're never going to know the exact details of that. But what I would say is that Marvel Studios and Disney can really still do whatever they want because that's what lawyers are for. It would be the same as a football team firing a coach and then paying out the rest of his salary. Jonathan Majors would sue for damages. They would end up settling. That's what lawyers are for, and it won't be the first or the last time Disney or Marvel are probably sued over something like this. But... The reason I think that this sort of picks and hangs in the air is not just because the clause would make sense from Jonathan Major's standpoint going into a role like this, but also because of this news of Doom. We all sort of scratched our head and said, hey, isn't it a little late in the game? Why would you pivot now? Well, why you would pivot now is if you don't want to get embroiled in a legal battle, even if he's found not guilty and you don't want to deal with the fallout, you go into Doom instead of Kang and then you avoid the recasts altogether. And with them having killed he who remains at the end of Loki season one, killed the King the Conqueror variant that we saw at the end of Quantum Mania, and he's at least killed for now. He sucked into a hyperdrive in a quantum realm. Yeah, he might return, but more like he who doesn't return, am I right? Because at the end of Loki Season 2, as his backup plan was Victor Timely, and in all his capacities as the TVA, Loki basically replaced him. The only sort of hangover you have right now is the Quantum Mania post credit scene with the Council of Kings, but they could always leave that as an open-ended Easter egg and really just set up Doom to kill Loki and take over the power of the multiverse, build battle world and I don't think there's any of us that would complain. It would also explain them avoiding any legal trouble by not wanting to recast in the first place. They did sort of leave themselves an off ramp in phase four from the villain if they wanted to and you have to wonder if that wasn't on purpose. This would have had to have been built, it would have had to have been architected before what happened with his legal trouble. I know a lot of people think reactionarily Marvel Studios, Disney, they were going to write him out of Loki, all that stuff. No, no, they haven't done anything and they don't plan on doing anything until that trial's over which is set to start by the end of the month. You guys let me know all your thoughts though down below. I am strictly on Jonathan Major's side with all of this. I do not think they should go away from Kang. As much of a Doom enthusiast as I am, I think I've said it like seven days in a row, they should stick with Kang now, and I'm really surprised his trial wasn't dismissed because a lot of this stuff that has come out makes it look so one-sided it's not funny, but hey, that's what the legal process is for, innocent until proven guilty, and I'm glad. For once, it seems like Disney and Marvel Studios learned their lesson, and that's exactly how they're conducting themselves regardless of all these rumors. Let me know all your thoughts and reactions down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we are still giving away two PlayStation 5s. The next one is for what is finale at the end of next month. We've also got one in January for Echo, and we're going to do some giveaways throughout December for the holiday season, while What If is live every day for eight days straight, uh, the 22nd through the 30th. If you want to be entered to win, all the same rules will always apply for future giveaways. Be a subscriber, so hit that subscribe button, then leave a comment down below, because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on all platforms with original music under the name All Fires, hence the AKA at the beginning of this video. For those of you who've already supported my music, I cannot thank you enough. For those of you who haven't or are just curious, I definitely would really appreciate it if you'd click it. I got some really crazy things going on right now and every little added piece of SEO or every little click, every view uh, is really gonna add up. And trust me when I tell you, I am never been more excited about the prospect of my, uh, of my music career. And I will be seeing you guys in cities close to you in the US across the country next year. Uh, more to come on those announcements for live shows. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.